All right, here we are, Warriors. It's Dominic Israel here at the Israel Warrior Academy, continuing with the Wooden Dummy series. We're on section number three. Section number three, again, depending upon your speed that you're training, the intent that you're training, this is where we get a little bit more flow. It also gets where we get more power in the dummy, too. Everything is going to be essentially geared towards that short range power. Wing Chun, you know, everyone talks about the distance in Wing Chun, how it's only that trapping range. It does excel in that range, but for the most part, fighting is in that range. Every single, um, every single fight that I've ever seen, it doesn't matter where it starts, it ends up in a close proximity. So if we can perfect it there, and we can feel comfortable there, we will start and end our fights there. You know, people talk about there's five ranges of fighting or, or whatever. I think there's one range of fighting, that's contact, contact range. So that's what we're focusing on. Again, when you train this section of the dummy or any section, we want to be methodical, purposeful, intent. We want to be, we want to do surgical. We want to be as surgical as possible. And you want to explore the entirety of your body in these movements. It's very simple. Uh, it's simple an idea. The application, it's where you take your time and you're, you really spend your time, you know, your years in doing this. Um, again, you know, you completed the first section, 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 one, the third. Uh, it's, you know, you're finishing in that, um, every movement for the most part finishes in the top. With a double talk here. You have to finish the second section. When you rise up here, you're going to, I drop my hands a little bit, I come up with a double ton, not just up, but I feed it into the dummy at the same time. Understand something. Any movement that you do it has to be accompanied by two dynamic movements. And I'll show you what I mean. Going into the dummy, and we'll take a look at it in the gone south section. So I'm rising and going into the dummy, rising and going in. I have a double yun cell. Now, as, as it, however your body dictates it, your elbows are going to flare out a little bit. You know, in Wing Chun, we try to keep our elbows out the side. Double Yun. I'm immediately dropping my elbows down before I turn my fingers to the outside for the palm strike. And I sink to the double palm, double palm strike the dummy. Then I recess back in a little bit. I rise with the double tonsil. My elbows come down. My fingertips go up and I strike into the dummy. I double jut. I won. My yun. My yun sao here, or look sao, yun sao. I'm doing a turn and I'm keeping this motion tight. And even though I'm going out to the side, like I said, two different motions, I'm still having my intent going into the dummy. You don't want to picture this as a motion comes in and you're, and you're chunking off to the side. It's still an attack. It's an attack in. One. My turn does all the work. Two. Three. Okay, this was added from my teacher. I'm going to jut and strike. Other systems just shunt here into uh, the bong cell. So jut and strike. Bong. Three beats, one motion. I'm gonna ton with this hand. So I snake, I adhere, I stay glued to the dummy arm. It finds my way there. I'm gonna low palm strike to the ribs with this side. And then I'm gonna kick the dummy knee with my right leg. So I come over, transfer my weight, kick, strike, ton all at the same time. Okay? Then from here, I got on cell. I got a gone low and a ton high. And even though that it seems like I'm, I'm going that way, I'm still feeding into the dummy. Then this ton comes to the inside for Quan. That's one, excuse me, that's incorrect. I'm gonna leave this in here. Ton, gone, and then I'm gonna yun and ton. One, two, three, jut, strike low. Bong comes up and over, turns. And then here's that section again. I come to the outside of the ribs. Tan, strike knee, gan, yun, boom, boom, boom. If you see a lot of the stuff that I do, there's a rising and a sinking up here. Watch my levels change. Rise, sink, rise, sink, rise. Everything is the yuma. Yuma is that energy, right? It's your spinal movements going up and down and side and side. And then every, every angle that can be coming in, in, in between those movements, sinking and rising, rising and turning, um, or tur sinking and turning, rising and turning. Everything is dynamically based on your exploration of the dummy itself. All right? Again, I low, I get that energy, I sink into the strike. I rise into the ton, I load, I strike again. Keeping elbows dedicated down, shut. One, two, I'm still tight, I'm going into the dummy. Three. Tight, tight right here. Corkscrew. You cross one. Tight, everything's tight. Two, it's all based on my core. Three, strike clear. Boom. Boom. 
Keep everything tight. No matter where you're striking on the dummy, you want to focus on your core, your hips, and the relationships with your elbows. Even though your elbows flare out, ask yourself, if in a fight, can they core screw in? Can they hit right away? Can they hit right away? You know, um, boom, boom. Can they hit right away? Can they hit right away? Can they hit right away? The dummy is teaching you to keep in a relationship of this tight space so that we attack first. You know, you don't want to fight with T-Rex arms because you got those big roundhouse energies coming in. You got that big overhand right energy coming in. If we learn to move our bodies into a core of something fast enough, then we get inside of the attack and we negate that energy, which is why I talk about I'm willing to take a hit. I'm willing to take a hit at that infancy stage provided, you know, I got my head down, chin tucked in, and I blast right in. By attacking, I am defending, okay? So pick the section apart, understand the rising, the sinking energy, rising and sinking and rising and pump, 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 turning the Yuma three, pump, 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 and the knee at the same time, cross one, two, three, pump, pump. three beats, one movement, the beauty of it, pick it apart, okay? The dummy, once again, is going to be, going to be one of the best tools you ever have for the pure sake of the fact that you can't move this. You have to move around it, but you also have dedicated to your anatomy, your principles, your concepts, your, your skill set, and make things work on this. Not for the sake of making it work on somebody else, but for the sake of making you more efficient. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to go to becomewar.com and click on the war chest. There you'll find access to our website, podcast, merchandise, and public Facebook group. And with the purchase of every program of Become War, you get exclusive access to our community Facebook group and what you need for that iron sharpening iron. Click on becomewar.com today and become war.